And it's the countdown to the historic G20 summit as India makes that global power play, ladies and gentlemen. We're shifting focus to the political war of words between the Congress and the BJP, ladies and gentlemen. Another credit war has erupted this time over sports. Now, Congress has released a fresh video to show that the party has a tradition of promoting sports. The caption in the post says, Milestones achieved, victories made, celebrating the legend. So that is the pitch coming in from the Congress camp when it comes to the issue of promoting sports. Remember, Prime Minister Modi has led the entire charge saying that India is on the path of becoming a global sporting hub which has leveraged its youth talent to become a beacon when it comes to global sports. But the Congress party also putting out that counter saying that when it comes to the level that Indian sports has achieved on the world stage, the Congress party is the one that has powered that entire charge, making this pitch, um, uh, claiming that it has uh, created the sports infrastructure in this country when it comes to expanding India's clout on the global stage uh, in the area of sports. Remember Prime Minister Modi, be it the Olympics, be it the Commonwealth Games, be it any achievement of an Indian sports person on the global stage, Prime Minister Modi has led the charge saying that this shows that India's youth carries the entire uh, potential of making India a global sports power. But in those visuals on your screen, this is the video that has been put out by the Congress party, ladies and gentlemen, uh, putting out the entire history of India's glory when it comes to sports at the global stage, saying that the Congress party is the one which has achieved great milestones for this nation, uh, taking you uh, those visuals of uh, even uh, Kapil Dev lifting up India's first World Cup. At the same time, Congress Party is saying that the entire sports infrastructure, the way the, the nation has rallied together to become a global power when it comes to sports, it is the Congress Party under the Congress Party's watch that those legends have been created, that those sports stars have been forged because of the policies of the Congress Party. That is the pitch coming in from the Congress camp in a huge counter to Prime Minister Modi's entire pitch when it comes to India's sports persons, saying that the root of the entire glorious sports history of this country, the root of the entire sports infrastructure that has churned out more and more legends, more and more sports superstars, that is the Congress Party. The policies of the Congress Party, the vision of the Congress Party is behind the entire sports legacy of this country. Prime Minister Modi has always made that pitch when it comes to uh, India's sports icons, uh, saying that, you know, be it Neera Chopra, be it all those ones who who have bagged medals for the nation. Uh, in, uh, Prime Minister Modi has said that India is that global sports power and India has leveraged that entire youth power to become an icon when it comes to global sports. But the Congress party also making the pitch that the legacy of India's uh, sporting prowess has been forged under the Congress party. Milestones have been achieved, several milestones achieved from the history of this nation from 1947. I'm joined by my colleague Pallavi Ghosh to get more on this. Pallavi, give us the details. What's the thinking behind this pitch coming in from the Congress camp? Well, as you must have seen those pictures which we already have put out and that's through a social media post, official one at that from the Congress party, makes it very clear that they are once again trying to take credit for not just the Chandrayaan mission or India's space journey but also the sporting events. Uh, this of course comes in a backdrop of say the recent wins, whether it's in the chess championship or women's blind hockey or whether it's been of course uh, uh, Neera Chopra. What the Congress party is trying to say is that the BJP always takes credit for any of the accomplishments by our country, whether it's on a space journey or whether it's in the arena of sports. But a sporting spirit is something which was initiated under the Congress party, whenever they've been in part at the centre. In fact, if you look at that post, it actually shows pictures of, say, Indira Gandhi, who was the Prime Minister at that point of time with the team. Also pictures of Rajiv Gandhi. Uh, we also have pictures and narratives of Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Vadra, Sonia Gandhi, I remember, the World Cup also, going across the streets of the national capital. So over here, once again, a credit war taking place between the two sides with the Congress party insisting on the fact that the changes have not come post-2014. Changes have actually happened right from the time when India gained independence and the Nehru Gandhi family was in power at the centre.
Right. Uh, thank you, Pallavi, for getting us that piece of breaking news as the war of narratives only escalates between the two sides. But right ahead of the highly anticipated India meeting which takes place on Friday, another row has erupted. The Congress released a photo with Rahul Gandhi at the front. Remember, the entire buzz was that the Allies were uncomfortable with Rahul Gandhi being center stage when it comes to the India alliance. And the BJP has taken the advantage of the entire situation and hit out at the opposition uh, when it comes to the entire unity project. Uh, now taunting the alliance, the BJP has said that the bloc has no vision, mission, but they do have ambition, saying that everyone within this alliance bloc, you've seen all the regional satraps when it comes to the India alliance, they all have prime ministerial ambitions. Now someone who has weighed in into this entire political dynamic surrounding the India alliance is BSP chief Mayawati. She has lashed out at both the India alliance and the NDA, saying that they comprise mostly of parties that are anti-poor, casteist, communal and pro-rich. She also tweeted that there is no question of contesting the elections by forging an alliance with any of these uh, party blocs. So that's the pitch that's coming from Mayavati as well, but getting some